Hi, this is Bill Watkins. We're still looking at some of the one another passages in the scripture. And I came to the one today in Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. Listen to it with me. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another, for each one shall bear his own load. It's interesting to me that on the one hand, he says in verse 2, bear one another's burdens, and then in verse 5, he says, each one shall bear his own load. How exactly does that work together? Well, there are some things that I can't give to somebody else to do. Nobody can believe for me. Nobody can repent for me. Nobody can do the praying and Bible study for me that I need to be doing for myself. That's the load that I need to carry. I have a responsibility before God that I need to fulfill. But there are always some things that are a little bit much for anybody to carry. And in this case, he's using it in the context of someone overtaken in a trespass. Sometimes people get caught up in sin and by themselves, they can't figure out how to get out of it. So what do you do? I think it's possible for us to look at people in sin and say they made their bed. They can just lie in it, but that's not supposed to be our attitude. Sometimes people are in the midst of depression and, and the results and effects of their sin that they have no way of, of rescuing themselves from. And my job is not to tell them it's your fault and it's not to just make them feel better. And it's certainly not as, as you look in the book of James to say, go your way, be warmed and filled. I'll be praying for you and do nothing to actually help. We bear one another's burdens. If you're a person who attends the services of the church regularly. I have a feeling that if you knew the stories of all the people that sat around you in that auditorium, you would be horrified. Or if you go into the place where you work and you knew what your employer is going through or your fellow workers are going through or even the people who are working under you are going through, it would be equally frightening. Everybody needs some help, even when they don't admit it. Everybody needs someone to bear their burden with them. The wonderful thing about being a Christian is that God strengthens us to carry more than just ourselves. That God strengthens us so that we ourselves can bear one another's burdens. Those burdens, you won't know what they are unless you spend some time with people. Sometimes it's sin. Sometimes it's something else, but they need help. People around you, all around you, need help. Some of them have been overtaken in a fault. Then what we want to do is not condemn them. You know, somebody said at one point, the church is the only army that shoots its own wounded. But the fact of the matter is, we are not a country club for saints. We are a hospital for sinners. And bearing one of those burdens gets messy. There was a picture that somebody told me about that they had seen not long ago. It was a picture of a Civil War field hospital, and it was horrifying. There were body parts behind in the background of the picture and some dead bodies there. There were, there were people who were losing their limbs as the surgeons were doing what they could do to try to save their lives. There was blood on their aprons. It was, a, it was an awful, awful picture. But he said, you know, now if we were to make a museum of that, it would be a clean apron, it would be clean instruments, and the walls would all be painted, but it wouldn't be a hospital. It would be a museum. In the church, things are messy. They're not clean and neat. And if they are, if you're in a place where nobody has a problem, if you're in a place where nobody admits that they need help, then you're not in a church, you're in a museum. Our job is to be a hospital, as messy as that is, as difficult as that is. It's the great work of God. Don't miss it. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Thanks for watching.